Hello, welcome back to Erica's Little Welsh Garden. Today I'm creating a brand new strawberry bed and I thought I'd bring you along to show you how I'm creating it step by step. So I don't know about you, but in my family, my children could go through a punnet of strawberries every single day. And in the UK, um, strawberries are only in season for around about five months. So when they're not in season and grown locally, we import them from places like Spain and um, places like Egypt. And although they're strawberries, they never really taste as good. So as part of my kind of you know self-sufficiency move and wanting to waste less plastic and save money because money is a really big important thing that I would love to save more of um, I have decided that I really want to grow lots of strawberries this year now last year I bought two strawberries from a um, local nursery but I planned to just propagate as many runners from those as I could last year and I didn't get any fruit whatsoever I managed to get around about eight baby plants from one of them and six from the other so I was really happy with those but that's still not really enough to be self-sufficient in strawberries if you want to have a really good year-round supply for the freezer or for your preserves and things like that then you really want around about 30 plants and yes I only have probably about 12 or 15 plants now that I managed to propagate last year um, so I was talking to Liz at by the farm and we all know how um, you know self-sufficient she is and how she has freezers absolutely full of food and she mentioned that she had absolutely loads of runners going crazy all over the place so she said I could have some runners and my mum was driving past hers the other day and Liz packed up a box of about a hundred baby strawberries for me so look at these I have an entire box full of strawberries and I wanted to bring you along today and show you how I'm planting them in my new hoogle bed so without further ado I will get on and turn the camera around and we will get these planted so this is the second hoogle culture bed that I've created so at the very bottom here we have lots of logs and then we have a layer of leaf mold and then we have a layer of really well rotted chicken manure here and I've just put a layer of um, topsoil over the top um, around about an inch um, deep so these strawberries should be very very happy here um, the topsoil came from the very bottom of my pumpkin beds that I had last year the ones that were on top of the wall that um, had a little bit of a problem and actually broke my wall um, but anyway this should be a very nutrient soil for my plants to grow in so now that my strawberry bed has been created I'm just going through all of the um, strawberry plants and making sure that there's not big clumps of them growing together and they're all individual um, once that is done I will go through and put them where I want them to grow and then after that, I can get them planted. So as soon as I'd finished um, separating all of the strawberries, I just placed them on top of the um, raised bed where I was planning on planting them. It's really important that you do that, just so if you change your mind when you come to kind of the end of the bed and you want to move any of them around, you can before you start planting them because then it becomes a little bit awkward. Um, I was just thinking something really cool as well. With this raised bed, it's cost me absolutely nothing to fill up. I had the logs in my woodland garden, I had the leaf mould, I had the chicken manure, I had the topsoil. I was given the strawberry plants for free. So this is gardening at its best. Now, if you're planning on setting up a strawberry bed this year, please do ask on your local free selling pages, ask around at your allotment or anyone you know that has strawberries because strawberries are prolific in propagating themselves absolutely everywhere. So if you're already growing them, then you are definitely gonna have some spares you can give away. Um, you know, it's amazing to think that this bed now is gonna save me so much money, but also it's gonna save plastic and it's gonna save carbon at the end of the day, which is so exciting. But anyway, I'm going on as usual. I'm gonna start getting these planted in now. So 
so the strawberries have now been planted and watered so I just need to keep an eye on them for the next couple of weeks while they establish themselves and as long as everything goes well they should start flowering late May and start fruiting early June um, with this as well I didn't mention that when you're planting a strawberry plant that isn't already kind of established in a pot and they are like these ones you just need to make sure that you don't um, plant them below the crown so the crown of the strawberry is here so make sure that the soil level is around about there so that they do really well because obviously a, a rotten strawberry isn't going to produce you any fruits so there you have it that's my step-by-step -step guide on how i plant strawberries i really hope you've enjoyed today and if you're new to my channel and this is the first time you're watching me and you have enjoyed please do hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you'll be notified of all of my latest videos i've got loads planned this year and i've got loads planned just in this area over the coming weeks so do please hit that subscribe button thanks very much for watching take care bye